Hey guys, what's up? Roger here and welcome to 10 Mile Creations. Now today we're going to jump over to the computer and take a look at a model that I found on Maker World and I thought was so perfect except for the fact that, well, it was a little bit small. So I jumped into Fusion 360 and created my own version of it. I'm going to make that available on Maker World for absolutely free. So let's check it out. Today we're going to be taking a look at this print right here on Maker World. It's by Saber Design. Now it is a scoop and I really like this scoop. It's pretty nice. One of the problems I have with it though is that it's actually a little bit too small. And I know that seems crazy, but I have pretty big dogs and I do multiple bowls at once, and I'd like to take a big old scoop of food and go around and fill up multiple bowls. This is really only good for about one bowl. Um, so I really needed something a little bit bigger. So of course, you know what I did. Ta-da! That's right, we went into um, Fusion 360 and we created our own version. Now this one's substantially wider, substantially deeper, taller, like in every dimension, this one is bigger. And uh, this serves my purpose quite well, quite well. Let's take a look at it in, uh, see if I can get the right one. Let's take a look at it in uh, Bamboo Studio and we can see, uh, I. I really worked on getting these top overhangs as good as I could. If I were you and I was printing it, I would probably do variable layer height just right here at the very top, just to get the best possible finish you could. But in reality, it doesn't really need it. Uh, it prints really well. Otherwise, I think I had a couple of like little strings on the inside just right at that very top piece. And I really tried to round that over to try to get, you know, kind of the best possible scenario we could from it. Um, but this is a big old, this is a big old piece. Let's see. Um, we take a look at the preview. This uses 340 grams of material and it takes about six hours on a 0.6 nozzle at a 0.3 layer height. So this one's going to take a minute. Now I do need to create a 0.4 nozzle version because that's what most people use, but be aware at... The 0.4 nozzle, uh, it, it's eight hours and three minutes. Yeah, it's going to be a minute. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to upload this to Maker World. It's going to make it available to you guys. I'll drop a link down below so you guys can go download this and print it for yourself if you need it. Free, available, no charge, maybe a boost. Give a brother a boost. Give me a boost on Maker World. Um, but let's go take a look at the finished product and we'll see what it looks like. The dive. Pressure's building in the nozzle's core. Flow rate steady, but I'm wanting more. Micron thin, the layers rise. Slicing through the limits, precision in my eyes. Filling with feeding, the rhythm's in sync. G code whispers what the future will be. But the bridge won't fail. Overhangs bending, but I'll blaze the trail. All right, well, there we go. That is the video. And that is actually what you saw in red there was version two. Had actually made some modifications since then, but I've printed version three also. Um, and so this is the final product. So if you want to check that out on Maker World, jump over there and you can download it for absolutely free. All I ask is if you have a boost available, Hook me up. If not, I understand. Enjoy the model. Have a great day.